What's up guys, Dave Reinecke here, R&D Manager and Sales here at Core Nutritionals, here to talk to you about our next product in the Core Lifeline. So Doug's already talked about Core Gut and Core Soothe. We're gonna talk about Core Prostate here. So like I said, this is the third product that we're launching. Um, it launched this past week. And the Prostate um, product here, this is gonna be mainly for your, your male population uh, as females do not have a prostate. But what is the prostate and where is the prostate and what does it really do? And then why is prostate health so important, especially as the male population ages? Well, the prostate is part of the male reproductive system. It's located at the base of the rectum uh, and below the bladder. So the prostate's main function is actually mainly to just produce prosthetic or seminal fluid. So this is a primary uh, fluid, you know, obviously in reproductive uh, you know, actions or part of the reproductive system. So certain prostate conditions can obviously increase uh, in likelihood as someone ages. Um, this may uh, partly do uh, increased urinary flow, uh, you know, increased urination, you know, how many times you go to the bathroom can decrease urinary flow. So, um, you know, how much urine you actually, you know, get out at one given time. And then the, the urge to need to go uh, will likely happen as well. So these are all, um, you know, symptoms that can lead to further issues down the line, you know, certain, um, you know, certain detrimental issues as, as one ages that can be of a concern. Uh, but just also it can decrease quality of life. You know, nobody wants to have to wake up in the middle of the night to have to go to the bathroom 5,000 times, or, you know, you do go to the bathroom and then just nothing really happens there. So that can just be, uh, you know, a very, you know, not the most opportune time or best time for anybody as they are aging. Um, so ensuring healthy prostate function is essential to just having a more healthy quality of life, uh, but also having, you know, a healthy, um, you know, reproductive, you know, system, and then also having a, you know, a, just a healthy, you know, organ system in general. So we're going to run through this, uh, the supplement fact panel, Aaron's going to pop it up right there. And, uh, you know, we're going to run through each of these ingredients. So it is a pretty loaded ingredient list. You know, I, I just counted them. We have nine ingredients in here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, and the first one here we're going to start with is pumpkin seed oil. So pumpkin seed oil powder, uh, pumpkin seeds are, you know, probably everybody's, um, you know, they probably heard of pumpkin seeds or had pumpkin seeds. It's October after all. But these fatty acids uh, contained in these seeds, especially delta-7 sterols, uh, tocopherols, and other micronutrients have shown specific promise in optimizing normal prostate function. So their primary mechanism of action is actually to block the conversion of testosterone into di-testosterone, or uh, sorry, dihydrotestosterone, um, which inhibits the enzyme 5-alpha reductase. Um, this is involved in androgen and estrogen metabolism. So dihydrotestosterone is classified as an androgen, and androgens are then steroid hormones that regulate the development of certain uh, male characteristics. So this might be, you know, your gonads. It might be the prostate. It might be, you know, other, uh, you know, other aspects of male or that are more specific to males. And when these androgens get way too high, it can negatively affect uh, organs like your prostate. So Having, you know, say, we'll say, you know, testosterone is great, but having too much testosterone is not great. We kind of talk about this with cortisol. There's good cortisol, there's good levels of cortisol, there's low levels, but being extremely high cortisol is not great. Being extremely low cortisol is not great. So being right where you want to be is extremely important in ensuring proper function. So pumpkin seed oil works well, actually, in combination with a lot of the other ingredients that we're going to talk about. Um, the next one, actually, saw palmetto extract. Um, but these have shown improvements in quality of life and maximal urinary flow. So we'll jump right in. That's a good segue into saw palmetto extract. But saw palmetto is actually, it's a, it's a tree. So it's, you know, an extract coming from this plant. And it works in a similar fashion to pumpkin seed oil. So like I said, these two ingredients really work synergistically together for one common function of, you know, ensuring normal prostate function. Um, but it's basically blocking that conversion of testosterone to dihydrotestosterone. So studies have shown that saw palmetto can have positive benefits in helping maintain optimal prostate size and function. So this can lead to obviously healthy urinary flow and frequency. So like I said, nobody wants to have to run to the bathroom for, for, you know, because they have the urge to, to urinate and then nothing happens or very little comes out. And then you're just caught up in that vicious cycle. So 
Um, that's really the main main benefits of those those two ingredients there. So we'll jump right down into the next ingredient, stinging nettle extract. So this uh, extract has been widely used in traditional medicine for its benefits as a diuretic and to treat other things like joint pains, eczema, arthritis, gout, and anemia. So you see a lot of, uh, um, we'll say, you know, high oxidative stress occurrences there, and you do see some other abnormalities as well. But more recently, stinging nettle has been utilized for the purposes of maintaining normal urinary flow and contributing to a healthy and optimal functioning prostate. So you kind of can see where a lot of these ingredients um, are gonna work for that same goal of optimizing normal prostate function size, um, having a, uh, you know, a healthy flow, and you know, decreasing the urge to have to go to the bathroom. Um, stinging nettle extract has shown effectiveness when, you know, like I said, in combination with other herbs like saw palmetto, pumpkin seed oil, um, you know, even flaxseed and things like that. So stinging nettle extract has a mechanism of action that's it's somewhat unclear, but what studies have been able to see when it is being analyzed is that um, it seems very likely that sex hormone globulin, uh, aromatase, which is an enzyme in estrogen biosynthesis, uh, epidermal growth factor, and prostate steroid membrane um, receptors are involved in this anti-prosthetic effect. So Stinging nettle extract, you know, like I said, it has many functions. It can have many benefits, um, you know, with things like joint pain, eczema, arthritis, but it is gonna have a major benefit when it comes to optimizing uh, normal prostate function as well. So we're gonna jump right down in this ingredient list. Um, I mentioned flaxseed as a, um, you know, as something that stinging nettle, soft palmetto, pumpkin seed oil, everything we've talked about so far can work synergistically uh, with. And we actually included flaxseed extract in this as well. So. Flaxseed um, contains a compound uh, and polyphenol called lignin, uh, which is about 800 times the amount in other foods. So flaxseed is gonna be the, the highest amount of this lignin and polyphenol concentration as opposed to getting it from another source. So these lignins have shown demonstrated anti-mitotic, anti-angiogenic, antioxidant, and phytoestrogenic effects. So all of those when we talk about hormone balance and optimizing, you know, where testosterone needs to be, where estrogen needs to be, as it pertains to, you know, prostate function and size, this is where these lignans are going to have their benefit. So these lignans have, have also been shown to increase levels of sex hormone bi binding globulin, um, reduce testosterone, this is total and free testosterone, and 5-alpha reductase, like we talked about before, which is that enzyme that converts testosterone to its active form, dihydrotestosterone. So that's the main benefit of those flax seeds. So yes, you can you know, incorporate flax seeds into your everyday life, whether you add them to a meal, whether you, you know, add them to something else. Flaxseed milk is a thing nowadays, but you can also you know, get a very high concentration in this extractive form to you know, be able to elicit a lot of these benefits as well. Uh, moving right along, the next ingredient is an ingredient uh, a lot of people have probably seen, um, which is DIM or diindolyl methane. So DIM actually may safeguard prostate enlargement. So when we talk about prostate enlargement, we talk about growing of the prostate and how it can push on the bladder, which you know can increase that likelihood to have to go to the bathroom and decrease that urinary flow because it's pushing on certain vessels. DIM can actually safeguard against this enlargement. So this can free up bound testosterone and optimize its performance in the body. So like we said, testosterone has many different roles, not just for um, you know, having muscle hypertrophy, uh, you know, of your skeletal muscle, but you know, any, any muscle testosterone can have an effect on. So this can be smooth muscle, cardiac muscle, skeletal muscle, you know, any type of muscle that we have. Um, this lays the groundwork for healthy hormonal balance, which is key for efficient, um, you know, sexual, physical, and, you know, mental health as well. So like we said, this, uh, you know, prostate enlargement, which can lead to this decrease in quality of life can have, you know, an aspect on, you know, physical health can have an aspect on mental health because it can you know play with your mind a little bit it can be um you know you it can lower self-esteem i guess is the right right way to say that um so optimizing normal hormonal balance for the purposes of optimizing prostate size and function is essential and that's where dim is going to come into play um, it can also combat a condition called prosthetic intraepithelial neoplasia which can show a prostate cell growth and can then be a precursor to more severe prostate-related uh, issues. So, uh, DIM has a major benefit when it comes to you know being able to protect your prostate from abnormalities uh, coming on, or you know from foreign invaders that can then negatively impact your prostate. 
Um, the next ingredient here we're gonna talk about is pigium bark extract, or you may hear it called pine bark extract. But it's been shown to support the maintenance of prostate health, and this has been both in vivo and in vitro. And several of the human studies have actually shown that pigium bark um, can improve urinary function and, uh, and flow measures when compared to those that weren't administered pigium. So when they studied you know, these separate individuals, they measured you know, the amount of urinary flow, the amount of urine that was left in the bladder, they measured the, you know, the uh, amount of times that an individual may, may wake up you know, in the middle of the night. So the uh, you know, specific statistics by this in this study, uh, men using pigium actually noticed that, that nocturia was reduced by 19%, uh, residual volume of urine was reduced by about 24% and peak urine flow increased by about 23%. So these are significant statistics. You know, it's not like 2%, 3%, you know, or 10%. It, you know, we're talking almost 20 to 25% um, of, of these uh, statistics showed improvements in them. So that's quite significant and one of the reasons why we wanted to include it in this formula for prostate health. All right, next ingredient on this list is beta cytosterol. So beta cytosterol it's actually the most abundant plant sterol in the human diet. It's actually a major component of several traditional medicines, um, you know, or or other uh, you know, or other herbs like saw palmetto or de and devil's claw. Um, it's believed to help maintain prostate function by again aiding in in the function and easing urinary flow. Uh, and this works well in synergy with other ingredients in this formula so to bind the prostate and to help reduce prostate swelling or inflammation. So. Um, you know, a lot of these ingredients are, they work well, very well together to, uh, to increase the, the function of each other. So it's not just one ingredient that is doing all this work to improve prostate function, but it's each ingredient collectively as a whole that's working towards that, that main overarching goal. So you know, a lot of the research that has been done has been you know, a lot of these uh, working in synergy. Um, there's been a lot you know, that has been done with them working together or just you know individually, but when they work in synergy, it just increases their functionality. So all for that main purpose of um, you know reducing prostate size if it is uh, if it is increased or maintaining prostate size where it is and maintaining proper urinary function as you age. Uh, next here, we're almost through this list. We got lycopene, which I think everybody has heard of uh, or seen or or had or you know ingested uh, at some point, but it's a carotenoid found largely in tomatoes, um, pink grapefruit, and watermelon. So a lot of these these citrus or red fruits and vegetables that that we see mainly fruits, but it's a natural and effective nutrient that has actually been shown to uh, support optimal prostate function as well. Uh, lycopene has been able to show improvements in specific gap junctional communication and oxidative defense genes which can be essential to this maintenance of function. So reducing oxidative stress on the body, improving uh, communication between cells that, um, that work to produce the, these functions, uh, it works very close with, with that aspect and that function. So these, uh, this can be seen through its ability to modulate testosterone production, serum concentrations of testosterone and metabolism of testosterone, which may impact gene expression and human prostate cells. So this is crucial for the inhibition of pro prostate hypertrophy or that growth. And like we said, too much testosterone is a negative thing. We don't want too much testosterone because it can negatively affect other organs or other functions of other organs. So too much testosterone increasing the size of your prostate, like we said, can increase the likelihood of other abnormalities and diseases, but can also just de decrease quality of life as well. Last ingredient here is boron, and we use a trademarked Albion boronic Glycine. So boron is a mineral that's been shown to support strong bones, treat some joint issues, and it's actually uh, as well as increasing testosterone levels. So this can support you know low levels of testosterone, bringing them up to a more optimal. But this isn't where why we included boron in here. Data has supported that boron uh, can potentiate free testosterone levels in healthy men. So it can shuttle some of that that testosterone that is you know just free floating in your bloodstream to where it needs to go to you know for allow for it to do what it needs to do, but um, it's also shown substantial evidence in supporting normal prostate function, specifically through lowering um, prostate-specific antigen, or PSA if you read it in, uh, in text. Um, but pro prostate-specific antigen can be a marker for prostate abnormality advancement. So this can be as a result of infection, it can uh, you know, be from other abnormalities, but lowering PSA or keeping it in a range that is uh, optimal 
uh, is essential for normal prostate function. So if you go and get a, you know, say you're, you're older and you get a prostate exam, and they say, you know, they, they run blood tests or a specific test, and they find that, you know, you know, this prostate specific antigen is, is a little bit higher, they may recommend, you know, supplementing with boron or, you know, having you ingest other foods that do have boron in them for the specific benefit. So um, as you guys see, uh, you know, this is a pretty long formula. It's a loaded formula um, and product, but for the purpose and benefits of optimizing normal prostate function and prostate health, a lot of these ingredients are going to work very well together for that overall function. So if you or you or if you're affected by, um, you know, these types of issues, like you know, like you said, increased you know times of having to go to the bathroom, decreased flow, um, you know, increased times of having to wake up at night because you have to go, this can potentially benefit you. So I do always you know you know recommend getting a, a pro your prostate checked if you know you are in that age bracket just to make sure that you know, your prostate and a lot of those sur surrounding organs are functioning optimally because this may not be you know, the product for you. You, know, you may not you know, need something like, like this if you're not at risk for anything like that. So I do highly recommend you know, speaking with a physician, speaking with a specialist you know, your, or your doctor um, and say, seeing if you are at, at risk, um, you know, if you're just curious if you're at risk getting checked uh, for things like that, but you know this can benefit anybody that is going through any any types of those uh, symptoms or if they feel at risk. So that is Core Prostate. We're halfway through the Core Lifeline, and uh, just be on the lookout for the next couple products that are to come. Thank you guys, and keep crushing it.